tra la la pom pom diga diga do Here's a question just for you Fuddle duddle diddle dee u p i u Where, when, which, why, how, and who If that's asking such a lot Shrimp up a fiddly pom tick tack dot Then just simply guess what Guess what? Guess what? Ba 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 ba. With Jan Rubesch, and I do have a guess what game for you today. Guess what is it? It can speak all the languages in the world. Oh, it's about this big, and it's in your kitchen. It's... Excuse me. Hello. Oh, François. Comment ça va? Huh? No, no, no. Je suis très occupé maintenant. J'apparaîtrai un peu plus tard. Bon. Oui. Bon. That was my friend from Montreal, and I told him I'm very busy with you. Now, how about that puzzle? What is it that can speak all the languages in the world? You don't know yet? Well, I give you a hint. I tell you the whole story of the thing. It started with a man who came to America from a lovely country of Scotland. They have mountains, they have lovely songs, and they have a river. Flow gently, sweet Afton, among thy green braves. Flow gently, I'll sing thee a song in thy praise. My Mary is asleep by thy murmuring stream. Flow gently, sweet Afton, disturb not her dream. Thou stalk the whose echo resounds in the glen. Ye wild whistling blackbirds in your thorny den, thou green breasted lapwings, thy screaming forbears, I'll charge you disturb not my slumbering face. Now, the man who came from Scotland to America started to be a teacher. And he was teaching very unhappy children, children that could hear or speak or even see. Now, how can you talk to pupils like that? It's very difficult. Well, this man couldn't even speak to his wife. She couldn't see and hear and speak. And he talked to her with the help of a glove. Yes, a glove. He had a glove like this. All the letters of the alphabet were on the glove. A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. And when he wanted to say, let's say, the name of the girl from my song, Mary, all he had to do, he tapped the letters M, A, R, Y. And the pupils who couldn't see, they eventually learned all the letters by memory. M, A, R, Y. And that's how they speak, spoke, just like this. And the pupils uh, that could see, he taught them how to lip read. Can you lip read? Could you try? They tried with the same word. Or how about the word I use on the phone when I answer the phone? I said, well, you can try it with your friends to lip read. But that wasn't the answer. The answer must have lie in the ear, he thought. If I could only understand how the ear works. And he had some doctors to make him a model of a human ear. And I have one here. Now you can see that's the part you know. That's the ear on the outside. But there's a big part of the ear that is inside your head. And it looks like this. It looks very complicated. But there's a little part that is called the eardrum. And the tr drum sort of shakes when the sound comes from the ear. Now, if something is wrong with the drum, you cannot hear. 
And he was thinking and thinking, and finally he made a machine that could replace the ear. And that machine is the telephone. In this part is the drum. Here is the part that looks like your ear. And who was the man who invented the telephone? Well, that's easy. Just remember what rings in your telephone. A little bell. And that was his name, Alexander Graham Bell. But nobody believed that such a machine would work. How could it? Even the father of Mr. Bell wouldn't believe it. So one day Mr. Bell took his father to the telephone. And he put this piece to his ear and he went to the next room and spoke gently to the mouthpiece and said, Papa. And his father could hear. He was the very first father ever to receive a telephone call. And then at a big fair, the telephone was shown to very important men and ladies. There were kings and queens there, even an emperor, an emperor from Brazil. And they brought the telephone to him, and they put it to his ear, and he was listening, and they had his helper, his secretary, speaking to him from another room. And of course, the helper was speaking to him in the language of Brazil, which is Portuguese. And the emperor was listening, and suddenly he said, oh my goodness, it even speaks Portuguese. And now you know what is the thing that can speak all the languages in the world, even Portuguese. I bet you never heard Portuguese, did you? Well, I have a song in Portuguese. It's about a little parrot. I get my guitar, I'll sing it for you, first in Portuguese, and then I'll sing it for you in English. Now remember, it's about a parrot, and in Portuguese, parrot is called papagaio. Papagaio loiro de bico doi raro, leva me esta carta ao meu namorado. Lindo como cravo, lindo como a rosa, toma la cerveja, toma la gasosa. Parrot, little parrot, now that I have caught you, fly to my beloved, tell her what I told you. Oh, I love you, Laura. Oh, I love you, Dora. Oh, I love you, Linda. Oh, I love you, Amanda. Ah, ah, ah. I better call my friend now. Mm -hmm.